Hello everyone, welcome to the podcast, welcome to this week of being alive. How's everyone doing, huh? (laughs) Kind of like this mic on my phone that I'm using to record this, I bet. Well, never fear, we're here this week with an episode that is just unbelievably um, good and deep and strong and uh, weak and um, a lot of things that you like to see and hear. And it is all centered around my dear, dear friend, Anna Marie, who is an artist, a painter, a visionary, a musician, um, a model, many, so many things. The point of which being is that we talk about some of the paintings in the room where we recorded this and you can see them. There's gonna be links in the description of this episode and um, on the website formlessness.space. Speaking of websites, um, if you'd like to visit Anna Marie's website, you can please donate to the show. Uh, Donate $12 so that we can buy the domain name for her website. Please do this because right now, hypotheticalawareness.com doesn't exist and it is $12 and they do not have $12. So unfortunately, um, I have to record this in the beginning as a little bit of a note. So, (laughs) uh, this is a really great episode. Um, I've gotten so much out of it just listening during my editing phases. And, um, there's a lot more stuff. There's a, there's a lot more stuff that we talked about during this session of recording. And there's a whole other show that's going to be coming up on Patreon sometime soon. So head over there if you want more of whatever this is and head on into the the near present future as you're listening if you want some more of what this is as well and i really hope you enjoy and i'm thanking you so much and thank you so much and thank you so much bye uh, i love you i have been looking at my paintings and seeing how like you know you know it's just like what you see and what you see always like like look at it when you're in the same room yeah and i don't like my paintings <laughs> i mean i like them it's like interesting it's like yeah i could zone in zone out about that yeah for a minute yeah but then it's not a continuous zone yeah and, and you yeah go on i need to provide that continuous zone <laughs> in my paintings what do you think about this one um, this painting hold on this is for the show Yes. This conversation is for the show. You're being recorded. (laughs) Oh, yeah. Are you aware of this? Hell yeah. Um, Hell yeah. (laughs) Your paintings are like multicolored, abstract, but geometry melded with traditional, like, human subjects in a multidimensional way. Um, yeah, I'm like uh, exploring. I'm not exploring. Yeah. But looking for myself in the human paintings. Yeah. It's like a forum. And then like also seeing what I see in others. Yeah. Or something. I don't know. It's really subconscious. That's why I've had, um, what do you, what do you call it? Block. Artist, artist block. Yeah. For f- six years now yeah yeah it's going on hard yeah um just because like all of these paintings right now like huge signs of artist block all your paintings are unfinished (laughs) you're painting the same thing (laughs) and you don't like it every time (laughs) yeah um yeah there's we can go off on that (laughs) but i don't want to right now we can we should no we should i want (laughs) to that's the topic yeah go off on this i i this is artist (laughs) block This is something I've experienced, and this is something that I desperately want to know more about, but actually not desperately, um, because I'm cool. I'm doing fine, okay? Yeah. To everyone listening, I'm doing just fine. Yes, me too. (laughs) I'm actually being really successful and really smart, so. um. (laughs) (laughs) Wow, Colin, I never knew. (laughs) I don't know whether to be offended or um, happy about that compliment, but... uh, (laughs) I mean, I knew the whole way. 
about success. Yeah. And our roles in it and your role personally. Wow. But yeah, it's, it's time to get it out. Yeah. So talk about it. <laughs> talk about artists. <laughs> talk, talk about the blocks that keep you from success. Yeah. So we were talking about the paintings around us. Yeah. In this studio, art studio that I have found and I have been renting from January 20th, 2020. But we have this wow. other painting here that's not done by you that no. you said that you also were zoning in on and that Zoning you uh, right okay well <laughs> <laughs> also can you before this episode's over i'd like to know what the difference is between zoning in and zoning out okay and how do i tell which one i'm doing i'll uh, put that on the shelf okay in my mind um <laughs> i feel like i'm on an on a <laughs> obvious coffee buzz oh yeah me right too now. yeah this is oh, this is goodness. it this is Hey, everyone. Thank you so much for listening to the show uh, this week. I'm here with my dear and a friend and an amazing person, <laughs> and an artist, Anna Marie. What name do you want? Anna Marie is my name. Uh, great. And this is, of course, Formlessness Podcast. Thanks. And now back to the show. <laughs> back to Form. What's the difference between zoning in and zoning out? <laughs> <laughs> and can you, ex is it possible to even explain? Yeah, th I think it's possible to explain everything. Oh, um, wow. Even the unexplainable, because the like, explanation for the unexplainable is meant to be understood. <laughs> wow. Too. Um, yeah. So zoning in is like you zone in like a m with a microscope maybe, or like you zone in on this problem. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Is that what you were doing the other day when I was like, is it just me? Is my voice different? No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. I think when you're talking about the microscope, <laughs> that's zooming in. Okay, zoning, zoning in. Zoning in is like when you're um, planning a city and you make the different zones for business and residential. Yeah, like let's zone in on this okay. area. <laughs> yeah, like, like let's, let's look at the different one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so zone that's what zoning in, in is. Is that right? Three, <laughs> two, one. one. It's, it's zone in time. Hey, everyone. Welcome to zone in time. Uh, time to really zone in some stuff here. It looks like we have uh, 20 to 30,000 average increase in the population here. So we're going to need to be increasing the square footage of um, the possible uh, building plots Yeah. for this city's needs. So... That's mm -hmm. what a great definition of what zoning in is. Thank you. <laughs> I think uh, let's circle back to artist block yes. and then we'll define zoning out. Later. Zoning out is more what I resonate with. Oh, yeah. Raising voice volume Ab about it. Um. <laughs> 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 you know how I do that sometimes. <laughs> I just start talking really loudly. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta raising voice volume about um, it. Yeah. Please do it now. Let's let's define zoning out now. Zoning out for I me <laughs> <laughs> is a whole different <laughs> existence. Um, zoning out. When I zone out, when I zone out on paintings, you know how you're in a fucking like fucking office space or like dental office or some shit waiting for your appointment and you're like zoning out and you're like what's around me and yeah. you see this painting it's really boring yeah i yeah. don't yeah oh yeah that <laughs> ruins it 
Because I'm like at a, a doctor's office. Yeah, the doctor's office. And I'm like, what's around me? Oh my yeah. god, I have so much time. Yeah. And then I just look around me, and then it's just like a really bad painting, and that's it. Maybe some magazines. I know. I love looking at the magazines and like zoning out about like celebrity gossip and like thinking like, whoa, <laughs> that one chick or something like that could be possible. <laughs> and you like zoning out about it. Yeah. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I think zoning out is a much smoother way of saying tripping out. Because we trip out about things, trip out about things that like make no sense to us or mm -hmm. that is an illusion to us. Mm -hmm. Like for me, I trip out a lot about communications and relationships. Me too. Um, but I need to get into like when you trip out, you need to come up with a final understanding about it. And yeah. Zoning out is there's no final understanding. With yeah, it. there's just like you know, because like you do that endlessly, you don't stop. <laughs> yeah, you see my like my painting, like being in my fucking art studio with you putting my paintings up where you put them. I'm zoning out in them, <laughs> and <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 keep going. <laughs> zoning out like from where you put them because they're in my eyesight view. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, there's. There needs to be a trip out for a final understanding moment. Oh, yeah. Like, maybe you just put, like, a sticker on it. <laughs> like, finish. complete. <laughs> um, uh, it's not complete, though. Even this big square one? Yeah. Especially the big square one. I think the other two are more finished. Can I take pictures of these? Yeah. If people want to see them. If you want to see what we're talking about, these will be on my uh, the episode website Episode which website. is not a real thing but it'll be on my own website if you want true visual w reference this shit to me is insanely good and like aged and textured there's so many other paintings that I would say that about of mine um, so like we can we can kind of talk about this in terms of artist block and unfinished paintings and like the paintings that I view that are to me for my journey in the time are master masterpieces for me yeah and then there's paintings that like that is not a masterpiece yeah you know I feel you yeah it's just an expression in the moment that I felt and also I feel like I have um, developed in terms of artist block a perception of what is what looks right and what doesn't look right yeah and that is a little bit influenced from what i think looks right and not what actually yes. is in tune with like regardless of if it looks right or what not it's just what is coming out of me and it's a natural expression you know yeah that doesn't have a lot of natural expression of what yeah. I really believe is my my version. Your true yeah. self. Yeah, that's so true. I, I'm, I'm trying to be a, my true self, but the only way that I can do that is by doing a bunch of stuff that, I don't know, I'm doing my best to do that, but I'm constantly influenced, I guess. I'm constantly second guessing. Yeah. My perception. Yeah. And like. That's what it is. Not knowing if I should go in the flow and just take action without thinking or meditate on that moment and get more perspective yeah yeah but there, i think there's a whole difference between or just the period that you have to go through uh where you as you develop your art skill you develop it by copying all of your influences and then when as you grow then you grow into your true self expressing it what do you think about that yeah i think that there's an aspect of fate and the and the influences that you are brought that are brought to you that you come up come by mm -hmm. And like, you know, every, every different artist that has um, become successful, 
the vibes that come off of them are also like saying what their influences probably were yeah yeah you know like you don't want to be a copy of your influences but you want to uh clearly be self-aware about what your influences are so that your expression isn't tainted or hidden on either yeah 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 like i've been making all this music that i can tell has like a lot of russian influence russian russian classical oh really influence. yeah good i approve <laughs> 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 that's like uh, what a russian would say right? <laughs> uh yeah yeah i think like bach or bach bach uh he's now. russian right what are you serious right now yeah do I, what, no are you he's him? not <laughs> <laughs> you really thought he was russian yeah i mean i don't really know anything i'm <laughs> guessing at every single That's thing okay i i'm not sure quite what i know either wait wh- 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 where is he from um venice who cares who cares my mom <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh my god i don't know i think germany that's so close my <laughs> I want to look it up on my phone. <laughs> oh, yeah. So do close. <laughs> do a Hey Siri. Hey Siri. This is going to be a Hey Siri moment. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Where was Bob from? German composer. <laughs> 1685. <laughs> well, regardless, my music's really good. Um, Hit a stroke. <laughs> really? <laughs> Holy shit. That things, guy. Though. March 31st. Is his birthday? Yeah. That's like 13 days ago. You know, he had like uh, 10 kids or something. Really? Yeah, and then they all made music too. Really? Mm-hmm. And w- were any of them really good? Yeah, they all got like well known and then he got well known after he died. Oh, that's crazy. Maybe I'm not like Bach. Maybe you're not? Yeah. I want to get well known while I'm still alive. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So I can uh, eat better food. <laughs> that's happening. <laughs> you eat great. Are you talking, talking I can talk shit? <laughs> I got to eat freaky. I know what you mean, though. Best meals every single meal. Fucking sushi every yeah, day. $100 meal every meal as well. Overdose on good food. Yeah. Yeah, like, do you want to be a post-mortem artist? I don't really care. I think that yeah. um, my phase of what I want from my life and, like, what I can't live without has nothing to do with like being an artist and I'm really trying to make it that because like once I do start making my continuous flow of masterpieces yeah um then that's what I'm going to be living for or like feeling like okay you know like goal after goal is completed and I'm establishing my um my flow yeah as an artist yeah same that's what i want it should be like at that point like getting paintings into galleries and selling paintings Mm -hmm. and having projects that are like interesting and fun yeah and like maybe like supporting kids in africa that's an idea that i have yeah 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 (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> Ding it, where's my sound effect? Oh, well. <laughs> uh, there needs to be like um like a ding 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 sound. You know what I mean? Okay. Ding ding. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> uh what to tell me about this idea about saving kids in Africa? Um well, first off, I don't want to make it seem like kids in Africa need saving. Um, word, I w- word. You're I right, you're know. right, you're right, yeah. 
That's cool. That's cool. Um, or like in any other country. Yeah. That's yeah. There's a lot like Syria. Is that in Africa? (laughs) (laughs) You don't know where Syria is. (laughs) <laughs> you didn't know where Bach was from. We thought he was Russian. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we don't have to be so serious about it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Syria's in uh, United Arab Emirates. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> so, how does. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But okay. yeah, that's really uh, honestly that's you saying that makes all my dreams come true of you being a cool person and wanting to help people but Uh, not because they're like you feel like you're greater than them no in fact i think that um specifically the cultural influence in africa from a perspective of a child's perspective from the perspective of children (laughs) (laughs) is is something that is greater than anything else and i just where this comes from for me is i feel i feel like really intrigued by the influence by by cultural and the by the african culture yeah and i want to learn more about it yeah and i think that a way that I could do that that I'm really interested in in a, like a natural flow way not like a strategic fucking research knowledge history based way yeah. is going to Africa with all these painting supplies and um, like everything everything that I could possibly like just suitcases so much and going to Africa and like helping kids like also bring stuff that would like you know be already associated with whoever wherever i would go yeah where i'd be like hey i have this idea that i want to do that involves like kids and stuff and let's like have a plan go there and um create paintings yeah with kids yeah and have them create paintings yeah and then like this is gonna happen I've thought about this because it's like why why wouldn't this happen why couldn't this happen yeah and then take those paintings to new york and yeah oh shit. make a really like high and um what do you call it not gala but kind of like something mm, like that gala is great yeah like in some event some event yeah some showcase um, showcases to a lowbrow yeah the the idea behind that is to send all that money, like make about a million. Uh, with like, I'm talking about like huge paintings. Like I don't know how I would get them from Africa. A hanger plane. I don't, yeah. To begin with, the hanger. kids would have to paint this in a way that would be cost that much. What if the kids each paint a little tile? That's not enough. I hate myself. I hate my idea. (laughs) (laughs) No, this is not about hating yourself whatsoever. Each kid paints a little tile, like a little, like two by two painting. And then you put them all together and it makes a huge mural. Yes. Because you let them be creative, but you just, you were being a genius and like giving certain kids only certain paints and certain shit and then you make it (laughs) basically (laughs) you're like god (laughs) yeah basically you're just like god right that would be so fun (laughs) i mean yeah that is so fun purpose is like to be able to bring ease and like yeah and share your gifts to embrace the gifts Yeah, yeah i think that I think that there's something very original about a child child's creativity from someone who I feel like there's always going to be that child in me with that magical creativity that I have. And so I like really <laughs> 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 It's hard to say that <laughs> to a mic, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to hear that. <laughs> yeah, does <laughs> 
actually makes my mouth like really like saturated <laughs> yeah or something yeah um, i love it this would give me asmr really no <laughs> <laughs> but all the people listening it does <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. they're like <laughs> oh my they're God. all for your idea though this is a really great idea I have some connections of some people in New York and I don't know why I've chosen New York but I feel like the idea of it, it being presented in New York is like really cool because there's a lot of shallow people that will see this and be like oh I want some depth in me in my life and I have all this money yeah and they will want like this fucking like painting in the middle of their like huge fucking house Mm -hmm. because it's a huge painting and because it's a huge painting it's gonna be that much money wow and that's so, so smart <laughs> all that money yeah it's, it's <laughs> big painting need a big house mind trick yeah yeah mind trick um and then <laughs> people will come in they'll like you know be bringing people in they'll be like what's this painting wow it's really cool it's colorful fucking like who made this who made this yeah and it's going to be like, mu like, just like, you know, and then you're going to come out and say, well, well, no, like this is, oh, I'm talking <laughs> about the person who would, will have bought this painting and it's okay, already okay. in their house. And yeah. It's like a couple months down the line. Yeah. And they're going to be like, oh, oh they're yeah. thinking about it for a couple months. <laughs> well, no, they're, they're going to like just have, have had it there. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. And they're going to tell this guest in their house, like, yeah, oh, I, <laughs> I spent like this much money, like 50 grand or something you know like whoa yeah. that happens yeah for for kids in africa yeah and something. i got this cool painting oh uh, yeah. yeah they can yeah. brag about the m their money and do give their money to a good thing and yeah. get a good painting and talk to their friends about it yeah that's what people wow. with money want to do yes i don't they know how i know that content in their lives they need something to f fulfill themselves well like we all do because i think a lot of people also like shallow or not forgive me for saying that word i think has a really negative connotation to it yeah w yeah i want to <laughs> you want to meet the talk library? about this later <laughs> but not this we're talking about this now what we're going to yeah. talk about later is how do you acknowledge different levels of intelligence without uh in a good way uh but anyway back to this <laughs> Well, yeah, the so uh, the appreciation of art, yeah, is present in everybody's level of yeah. intelligence, and it, it does take um, a non-shallow method to getting to having a bunch of money to be able to spend fifty grand on a charity event or something. Sometimes, not always, though. Like, th there's all these kids, hedge fund kids. Gotta watch out. Yeah. They're just rich and have no non-rich life experience. Yeah, and so that that's. But that works reason. for them. Yeah, they understand. That's so true. What you just said. That what? art, art, and genuine expression hits yeah. all those levels the same way, no matter what. Yeah, yeah, it does. And from. From what I know is that there is never a mistake in true art from ki from a kid. Yeah. And the reason why in Africa it would be different than like, oh, kids here in America, not that I have anything against kids in America, is that all the needs here are provided for kids and beyond that what isn't needed at all. And, you know, like phones and shit i've yeah. had games whatever yeah in africa like maybe some areas are different i have no i have nothing no knowledge of what's going on there but i think that overall that because some some those needs are met differently because they need to work with what they have mm -hmm. because they don't have a government like how in america the government allows for everything to be overly consuming mm -hmm. Um, there's not like that balance is different in Africa. Yeah. 
and because of that creativity is more present and children because they are outside yeah and they are making art by being creative with what to do yeah and that artistic um, expression into painting on a canvas is what will be ultimately appreciated as true art because it's there's like wow. you know yeah like they're literally those kids literally have abilities that other people don't in this way and even if they weren't kids they would still be genius artists although yeah their genius comes from being kids too and completely unfiltered but right unfiltered that's yeah. what it is they're unfiltered and their lives allow them to experience the meaning of that at that time whereas in america children are so involved in so many forms of chaos and just over like life's meaning is completely uh separated from nature and from natural ways of being i don't think oh i hear myself now yeah that's a that's a good comparison there's a lot of different things that influence the natural state of the mind for people here and in different countries um and that's not to say that one place has more or less than the other and no matter where you are you can always choose to um learn things for yourself and develop whatever you need inside of yourself regardless yeah if you work over time and make all your decisions from that place yeah i mean all of this perspective is coming from having worked with kids on art before and um i used to volunteer at this like agency um working with adults too but i began by working with kids in the daycare for like um when their moms would go to support groups and i um was trained to work with kids from domestic violence situations and so that that's what the support groups would be for for them the moms and I worked with kids like in the daycare through their issues that would come up in the way that they would play with toys or with each other and painting was a way to get them to open up and to talk with them while they were doing something oh wow and it was a really interesting way of like not forcing you know but just allowing because it's there it's it's really there and they know it that it's there yeah but they don't want to talk about it yeah and we all know that it's there no matter what our age is yeah that's that stuff going on inside of us well it's just It's just like, um, I think that, I don't think that any child should ever experience or know what violence is, uh, like firsthand. Yeah. Or, you know, like, I just think that when, um, when it is experienced, it is against a natural flow of growth. Like it stops it somehow or like it alarms it, the growth somehow and so the way that children react to that um it just like accentuates the sensitivity and so yeah. it's it's shown in how they act and and what they say and you're like oh this person is affected and sensitive yeah you know so yeah. instead of being like you shouldn't do that or something yeah um and so what you can't do anything at that point but what you can do is like keep let it keep going and just um accept and acknowledge 
And that was really what I learned to do. And through art, it was really um, easy to do that because it's the moment that you're putting something front, like that's a visual, like a color or shape from a pe pencil, p marker, paint onto paper is a moment that that flow is happening. Yeah. Because it's just, you know, and, and other ways too that I've worked with kids just like in a natural environment of like, here's a painting class from Anna Marie and like all these Russian kids, you know? And so it's yeah. just like, <laughs> wow. that happened like twice maybe. Yeah. And then I was like, I don't know how to do this. Yeah. It's not funny how that works, man. But the ones you did were probably really amazing and great before you realized or thought that you didn't know what you were doing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, who knows? <laughs> but yeah, I've, wow. I've worked with kids one-on-one -on -one and I want to continue to do that. So that's part of where that idea is inspired from. Yeah. Is to continue that. Yeah. And that's the idea of the kids going to Africa and doing the art gallery and that's a great idea yeah in New York in New York well we defined we talked about artist block not fully but yes yes and then we defined zoom zoning in and then we defined zoning out and then we s I don't know what happened after that but then uh <laughs> <laughs> we talked about this great idea uh of what how do you this idea is so good that you can't even describe it in like a sentence because there's so many facets it's a to project it. it's a project yeah i don't even know what the money would go to it Schools? goes to the kids the kids? infrastructure the communities yeah exactly yeah. yeah whatever yeah. they would want it for yeah um yeah and a little bit for you. So you can keep making no. <laughs> none for you? That's the point. How are you going to freaking um I'm going to establish my own shit. Yeah, okay. Th yeah, I'm not yeah. going to take anything. Great, bye. Bye. Not having artist block. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <Right>. hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Bibu. Hey, Bibu. My name is uh, Chim. Chimney. 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 Yeah. Chimney First name Chim. Chim, last name Ni. Oh, shit. It's yeah. a whole name. Yeah. yeah. Is your name like that? Is your first name Blip, last name Boop? Or Blop? Bibu. Oh, Bibu. <laughs> <laughs> it's just Bibu. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. That's cool. I don't know what my last name is my parents never told me oh <laughs> beep yeah. boop yeah do just beep boop meow chat <laughs> <laughs> what meow what meow checks what's that it's like do your little things <laughs> so things. your name is beep boop you call your little Beep things mouth checks. <laughs> meow checks. Yeah, you call check them. me out, smouch checks. <laughs> and that's all your little things. That's what you call your little things. <laughs> so you said. Yep. <laughs> wow, well, it's really Simple great to meet you. Bitch, yes. <laughs> what, what are you even, are you? I can't really see you from I'm like that shadow. A fuzzy pink ball with a light blue glow and I got antennas but you can't see them but I do everything with these antennas I detect, I intuit I check me out <laughs> yeah! wow so you're like some cool robot alien and you gotta always wow how old are you um, and check me out, I am approximately 0 0.03 millisecond billion moments old. Yeah. Wow. 
And that's in Check Me Out. In Check Me Out times, we have a different perspe- perception. <laughs> perception. <laughs> yeah, everything is different, so I'm like still learning the language of planet Earth, but my perception of time is different in Check Me Out. <laughs> yeah, I'm d- I'll check you out. It's we go reverse. We go reverse, and that's why I'm a, a fuzzy ball. And like here, everyone's like lengthened out. It's because people go forward. But in my check me out times, which I'm um, I'm out of right now, is really reverse. And that's why it's like Pew. negative, negative ages, negative mm. moments, old, and my. My approximate moments old in planet Earth years is um, is distorted right now. So yeah. I'm actually growing. This is part of my mission is going to other planets. Oh. So check me out. <laughs> is <laughs> my own yeah, where? What's your website? <laughs> I don't have a website. Yet. How do you how do you get like <laughs> famous and check me out time or like? <laughs> is that the planet you're from is that what it's called check me out meow chat meow um, chat the, the, ch- the meow checks is different that's like oh the ki- yeah the kind of <laughs> air that you're breathing and what you're doing it's like your job okay meow checks yeah okay yeah you have to say it really Ch- fast. Out. meow checks to access so the whole web and Whoa. getting famous and the ages like moments old thing that all comes from like the space the space the space um like the dark web <laughs> <laughs> oh i've heard of that <laughs> and so has the audience it's like the dark web of the mind and so all of us that are part of Check Me Out are included in this dark web. Mm, mm. And that's how we communicate and we keep it existing. So it's not like a specific planet. It's oh. just Meow Check Just check all your Meow Checks. Yeah. Meow Check Check Me Out, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, tie, tie, tie. I only know up and down, chimney sweep, uh, soot, and gravel. So. Uh, oh, I've heard of those. I've heard of Tie, the Tie Guys. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Those are my guys. And Chime, um, I officially welcome you to the Check Me Out world. Oh, Whatever chime. world you believe in this to be. What, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> chime, chime me in. Chime me in, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, motherfucker. If you're listening to this, chime in. Hit up the show, Chime. bitch. Check me out, Mount Jacks. Meow. Um. <laughs> so that was a reverse time for a little minute. Yeah, I don't know. Oh shit. It's I all don't good. Know what happened there? Um. Well, we're back. The coffee has been brewed, and I'm doing I'm doing my own segment now. Yes. I'm playing this. What do you want to talk about, Colin? I want to talk about the old times. I want to talk about nostalgia. I want to talk about those good old days where I'm pouring the coffee cup into the coffee mug. And I'm thinking, that doesn't make any sense. I should be pouring the coffee into this coffee cup and coffee mug. Oh, yeah. But, yeah. (laughs) But that doesn't happen anymore. I've never done that in a thousand years, and I'm just rem- trying to remember the days back then when I was able to do that. <laughs> Which part? The mug or the, co- the cup? When I just made mistakes, but now I'm perfect. I do everything perfect all the time. I never make a mistake. Um, and it's so scary. Tell me about some of the mistakes that you found to be the right kind of scary oh great question yeah um i think 
those kind of mistakes are the ones that I'm making all the time, which is why I've tricked myself into thinking that I don't make them anymore. <laughs> I, I know what you mean. Like what? Like what though for you? Um, like this whole conversation, this whole thing we're talking about now is because this song is called Nostalgia and because I went off into this whole thing <laughs> that I have no idea <laughs> what I'm saying. Thank you so much. Yeah. Is it good? It's strong. Check me out. I think that everybody who is an artist should do some kind of witchcraft. Yeah. Um, I have been trying to, but uh, my goal is to like ad identify as a witch and do this every day, like according to the moon. It's witch magic happening. <laughs> according to the moon faces or listening to like signs of what's going to happen in the future. Yeah. Because I have had has I have had signs of what was gonna happen in my future and then they have happened and I was like, Wow, this was a sign you know? Yeah, absolutely. That's what happened. That is happening to me constantly at times. And then sometimes I chill from it. I don't even know how best to Like, I don't know. I don't know what to say. Um, that stuff, doing some sort of magic or some sort of spirituality or some sort of, like, true scientific self-evaluation of yourself, and learning this, these like subtle and energetically based understandings of reality Sorry. is I think something we all need to learn even if we're artists or not right now yes how yeah. to be in touch with the more subtle side of what our experience is yeah. and learning how to navigate that I feel like we, until about 2018 or 2019, everyone was trying, I personally was trying, I was so interested in spirituality and magic and all things, mm -hmm. all things really of reality, yeah. bar none, and getting really <laughs> invested. But I f it was like such a, I was so focused on that, on being, on understanding reality and understanding myself and working towards it and having that be what it is. But then like when 2019 hit, I feel like we hit the point as humans in evolution with technology and with our understanding of this stuff mm -hmm. where like, it's really able to be truly lived in really easily. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I see that too. Yeah. Which is just amazing. I don't know. Wonderful. Yeah. It's wonderful, but it's also limiting. Because I like living in, like, I guess we're using technology right now. But. I like living in my in the world yeah that we have around us yeah you know like I want to build a tree house outside in this area that I want we're gonna go through today if you if you want to come with yeah. me yeah um, to take my family's dog to I want to build a tree house there and I don't know just do shit outside like yeah roller skate and skate parks yeah and I think that's the ultimate technology life yeah being having the energy to creatively 
do these things that yeah. are expressions of your joy of being alive. That to me is the ultimate place to be at all the time. I know, right? Yeah. I think that we constantly seek what gives us dopamine and serotonin. Um, we like know what what gives us that. And sometimes yeah. it's things that are wrong and bad for us or yeah. our relationships. You know, it's sometimes it's drugs that we seek for that feeling actively and or coffee or, you know, roller skating for me. Mm -hmm. But if you know and find healthy things that give you that s dopamine, serotonin, you know, like naturally, I think like meditating it can actually give you that. Yeah. Um, without you knowing it. And then you feel the effects out afterwards. Yeah. Especially if you do it for a long time. Or, um, like, just everything. Everything that is healthy for you that you can think of it pro is probably what gives you the dopamine, yeah. the serotonin. Yeah. And then also, it's, like, everything that you do is, a s in a certain way, like, unhealthy. <laughs> like, when it got, like... <laughs> Yeah, you gotta balance it out. You gotta balance it. Like, I. It's totally fine to eat candy oh sometimes yeah. and, like, drink coffee and whatnot. Coffee is interesting because it's funny how it works with our bodies to be like, we can handle it. I don't know. I'm very comfortable being addicted to caffeine. Me too. And I feel like it just is so much a part of my body. Sorry, I was just gonna. That there's no, like,. Differentiation. Oh yeah, I get those gummies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What are you chewing on? What? What am I chewing on? Chewing am I on? chewing on something? Yeah, this is an active moment. A chew time and check me out time. Wow. Thank you for guiding me through this. I don't really know where I am. I feel like I've just been in here. Winding up and down these chimneys of these streets year <laughs> after year after year. Day after day. That's where you meet a check me out. If you ever are looking for a check me out, you go through the chimneys of the streets and you will spot a check me out and you will be hunted down and checked out, bitch. Oh boy. <laughs> Is this a death coincidence? Swintons? Swintons don't exist. Check me out, girls. We like to. <laughs> yeah. We like to just follow through by making ends meet. So when you meet a check me out, all your ends are met. All wow. your loose ends uh, are met. Because yeah. I gotta say, I feel great, but we're just in this kind of gray space that doesn't seem to have any walls or ceilings. Yeah. And you just see you're chilling. It's cool. Gotta get fuzzy about it. <laughs> well, that was Check Me Out. Um, mm -hmm. And where should the listeners go if they want to check out your um, stuff, Anna Marie? <laughs> you can check me out in hypotheticalawareness.com. Wow, great. <laughs> great. <laughs> I don't know where that great came website. from. Great we're, website. We're on registering it right now. We get that registered, hypotheticalawareness.com. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a website at the moment. Um, but I am aware that I need a website or something to check me out at. <laughs> <laughs> so there's your hypothecook. <laughs> there it <laughs> is. <laughs> that's, you should remember Bye. That. <laughs> See ya. That's it. No, that's it. It's going to be you saying there, there's your hypothecook. And oh, wait, hold on. That's not the end. Listen, I have to say well, how I feel about you. Thank you so much for doing this. You're very Thanks welcome, Thanks for being Colin. on my podcast. Thank you for having me. Thanks for talking to me. <laughs> and thanks for yeah. sharing all of your wisdom and all of your joy and all of your laughs exactly. and all of your sadness. Yeah, of course.
course. Yeah. That's that's my innermost feelings. I appreciate you sharing them. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate you allowing the space for me to share that. Thanks. That's even more important. Yeah. To provide that. Well, I'm yeah. the most important. <laughs> <laughs> Without you, there's no nothing to check me out at. For. That's true. <laughs> that's true. So check check you out the check me outs. Listeners. At the grocery store. Yeah. Yes. This show's at the grocery store now. Yeah, we're in the grocery store in Fuzzball Universe. <laughs> Peace out. <laughs>